Keep it simple, silly. So you have decided to improve your health and fitness, but are confused where to start. The biggest mistake people most often make is they go all in and burn themselves out too early. You see, health and fitness is a marathon, it is not a sprint. You have to pace yourself, you have to keep it simple. Anyone can lose weight. You can lose 10 kilos in 3 months, there is no problem. But what then? You haven't created the habits to keep that weight off. And if you do lose those 10 kilos in 3 months, chances are you will put them back on quite quickly and then some more. You see, you would like to develop a skill set to manage your weight. A skill set to manage your fitness and a skill set to, skill set to manage your health. And it all takes time. Pretend that may, you are learning to stitch. When you first learn to stitch, you start with a simple stitch. Then you move on to stitching buttons. And then you move on to do more complex work like embroidery. Imagine when you were a kid, you learned to ride the bike. You first learned to balance, then you learned to maneuver. And after a lot of practice, you finally did your first willy. Your health and fitness is the same. Concentrate on developing skills so that your weight loss journey, your fitness journey, your journey to a healthy life is one which is sustainable and therefore successful. Let me suggest to you a three-pronged approach. Step one, set yourself a goal. See, this goal has to be realistic. Do not think that you are going to move from being a couch potato to a fitness model in no time. Yes, eventually you might be a fitness model, but at a start, your goal has to be realistic. Step number two, sit down in a quiet place, introspect, think about what steps you would like to take towards good health and to improving your fitness. Write them down in order of increasing difficulty, the easiest step being number one. Now we start working only on the first step. Let's say your first step was, let's go for a walk every day. Go for a walk every day, by all means each and every day. One week, two weeks, three weeks, until it becomes a habit. Step number three, evaluate your progress. You can have mental evaluation and mat metric evaluation. Mental evaluation, think to yourself, have I been true to myself? Have I done my first step to the best of my ability? Metric evaluation. There are many kinds of metric evaluations you can do. Some are cheap, some are expensive, some are easy, some are difficult. May I suggest three basic ways? Weighing yourself regularly on a digital scale, body measurements, measure your waist, measure your hips, arms, thighs and maintain a log over this and compare it over time. Photographs of yourself in the skimpiest clothing. Compare your photographs. Once you're done with 
Step number one, develop that skill. Move to the next step. Move to the next task you set out yourself. And over time, I'm sure you will be successful. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. Do like the video, subscribe, click the bell icon and share it so that you can help a lot of people. Signing out, Dr. Rohan Fonseca.